So today we're in Oriental, North Carolina, where we've been asked to install a ceiling fan on a porch roof with an open ceiling. How do we do it? Today we find out on the Home Tip Show. Okay, because we don't have a good power situation out here uh, in the porch, we've got essentially um, the freezer here and the television uh, and a bug zapper outside all running off of the same circuit as well as this floor fan. Um, I don't feel comfortable that I can put a ceiling fan somehow into this circuit here. Um, so. I've decided I'm going to go ahead and tap this this um, wall sconce, this outside wall sconce. It's on its own switch. Um, I'm sure it's not as loaded down as as this other circuit out here is. Hopefully they're on different circuits. And so what I'm going to do is put some conduit in, which will run from the top of this um, across the ceiling, um, and then this way across the ceiling to approximately this area right here which will be where I put the put the box and I'll um, I'll be feeding wire through that as I go because there are gonna be some pretty tight corners and even with the sweeps it would be hard to, to pull wire through it so I'm gonna have to kind of feed it as I go okay so we have the uh, the next step done we have our conduit ran so there our conduit comes out of the box that's there for the the light it comes across the ceiling does a 90 there through a sweep and then because I needed to make not only a 90 degree but I also had to make a adjustment in its vertical height from the floor I went ahead and used uh, what is called a um, well what I call it is a um, a fitting that's normally used on things like swimming pools anywhere that power is exposed and there you can see there's a there's a um, seal here and there's a seal on here um, but the great thing about these is they're flexible so it allowed me to make the 90 but also then go up about two inches in order to hit the box so um, that part's done uh, and it looks great it's very professional and what we're going to do next is uh, do the uh, do the wiring and the installation of the fan itself all right so the next step here is that we are going to do the wiring we are having the whole fan on one switch which will be switched with the outside light um, instead of doing uh, separate wires they didn't have switches they didn't have you know the wiring in place so what we're gonna do is just have the whole fan switched it's either on or off and then you'll control it with the pull downs um, on the fan so what we have to do now is we're going to take our three wires our black our white and our brass and we're going to wire them in to the appropriate right here okay so we have all three of our wires coming down from the conduit that goes to the fan all three wired in to the black the white and the ground uh, the neutral here. So we should be good to go to go ahead and wire up our fan now. And it'll go right there. Okay, so we have the uh, outdoor light uh, remounted. Everything's concealed. Um, we have the conduit that comes over the top of the light over here to the ceiling fan. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna mount this, which is the main 
load bearing portion of the ceiling fan. We're gonna mount that to um, to our ceiling box, ceiling fan box we put in. And that will then, if you can see there's like, I don't know if you can see them, but there's one, two, three, four screws that mount that ceiling fan box. You can't use a regular box. You have to use uh, a box that was designed for ceiling fans. They have um, their extra strength and they have the ability to you know, withstand the load of, of a ceiling fan. So this will then mount, wrong way, this will then mount to this and then the ceiling fan will just slide right into that and we'll go from there. Okay, so it's in. Completed the installation. You can see the conduit that goes across the ceiling over to the outside, um, the outside uh, lamp here. Um, comes off the top of that. Does a 90 sweep. And then it goes to a, uh, um, what I think we call those, uh, direct wetness or something like that. Um, connector that allows it to kind of make that in addition to a 90 degree it's actually doing about a two inch rise to get up to uh, the insert on the ceiling box. The ceiling box is securely mounted to the wall with four deep screws. <laughs> four deep screws. Um, try that again. Okay so we're done. The um, ceiling fan is mounted with the ceiling box it runs across the ceiling with conduit over to the, uh, the 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 lamp over here on the wall so when that switch is on the ceiling fan is on so there we go that's our installation